I decided to record something extra while I'm at home to just get advantage of the situation. There were a lot of pass-through updates when the Quest Pro launched, but I'm not gonna do all of them because it's pass-through. So it's literally the same thing, just with overlaid assets from the game. One thing that really interests me to try out is Word, which seems like a version of Google Earth in a grid, and then you can just travel the world seeing with your own eyes the environment. Concept-wise, it seems really good, so I'm really interested how that's gonna work. So, users in the world, so it's kind of like a multiplayer, I see. Hi! Hey, Psycho. <laughs> I'm not sure how this works. I mean, basically you can just travel anywhere, it's Google Earth. Right? Yeah, like Google Earth in a grid, but there are like some mini games to guess maybe the places in the world, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I played one. I was just in the traveling lavender hornets. Uh, and basically, you have to get, they show you like a, a street view, and then you have to guess where on the map this is. Pretty, it's pretty cool. I think there's like a mini game as well like that on the web, like on the internet. Ge Geoguesser or something mm -hmm. like that. I think. I mean, maybe we can go to the driving red pop cards. I have no idea what this is, but we can try that out. Right. I guess this is a game, huh? Have to find out. Is it? No, it's not a game. Is it a game? Yeah, here. Space Needle in the States. Space Needle in... in uh... yeah, gonna... Ah, okay. Oh. Like that. This is Seattle, right? Oh, nice. Uh, it says it's... Yeah, it's Seattle. You're from the States? Uh, no, I'm from Switzerland. But I was there once. You're from? Well, I live in France, but originally from Poland. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what we have to do now here, so we can just travel around. Yeah, it's like you choose a point, I guess, and then it overlays 360 around you to be like in the same mm -hmm. space. What are those bubbles here? Yeah, let's click on the bubbles. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. This can be trippy, as you see. Oh, these are like points of interest, huh? Yeah. But we cannot travel there. I mean, now if I click somewhere, it doesn't open up. So it's just not traveling to any point on the map, just selected. Yeah. Let's let's try something else. Let's go back to the lobby. I think this is a stupid game or whatever it is. <laughs> I think the blue ones is just navigation. The pink ones are actually the games. Ah, okay. So let's let's go do a game. Yeah, there's no one around. <laughs> what the? <laughs> yeah, this is like the one I. It seems like the one I did before. So basically, here you have like on the right control. If you press B, e, you have like a magnifying glass. So you can look at stuff a little bit closer, and. Um, I guess Europe now playing, only one person can play, the other ones are expectators. So if you start at the game, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if you are, I oh know, maybe he's up here. Probably he's playing behind us, look. He's in the game now here. Oh. <laughs> Levis, Levis is playing, so we can just watch. Maybe we can, I don't know if you can hear us, but we can give him hints. Hi. <laughs> it's also a good hint to look, look at the streets. Yeah, yeah, could be England. I know the taxi here, look, taxi. Sign says son. Yeah, the, the Cans, cancel really for foreign, foreign Foreign Is this Scandinavia or something? Uh, oh, wait, wait, the car here. Wait, uh, oh yeah, the license plates. Oh, you can't. <laughs> No, you can read the license plate, but, but the phone number is 911. Oh my god, the quality. The, because you can recognize the end of the like hyperlink. Is it S S E? No. Google needs to invest some better quality <laughs> cameras. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> Ciao. 
Che è l'italiano? Eh, ital- sì, italiano. Ah, buongiorno. Eh, stavo, stavo parlando con mia moglie. Vai, 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 vai. vai. Uh, uh, I then dom smegling. Uh, uh, Technically you can just google with a phone what, what it is. Uh, uh, It's not cheating, I'm gonna google it. <laughs> It's Norway. <laughs> Svezia. Norway? You think it's Norway? Well, this company, it's a property company. Well, Sondag, yeah, that's Norway. The problem is that you have to also find out what city it is. It's really difficult. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 800, 800, 800 km. 800 km of distance. <laughs> I mean, considering the whole world, it's not that bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, now, let's see. Oh, man. Uh, 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 mountains. Skin and transport. This could be like something like... An... Uh, qui siamo, hey. Holland. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can turn around with the right controller. You don't have to turn your head around. Well, we're in the mixed reality, so I need to feel ah, immersed. <laughs> <laughs> this magnifying glass yeah, does not help it's either. Legge. It's like it's better to non just read it legge. with your own eyes. Okay, I have to go. It was nice meeting you. Bye bye. See ya. Oh my lord, I will stop here because <laughs> I'm spinning, first of all, because <laughs> of this cable. But I see what's happening, and the easiest explanation is if anyone remembers wonder on quest but with mixed reality here thrown in with multiplayer and just a guessing game i do like the fact that you can transport yourself to famous locations select on the map and then just see the 360 it's essentially google street view but converted into vr which is fine it's not like it was made for this technology in the first place but it's using this footage and then just transforming it into an experience. The minigame would be way cooler if the photos would be higher quality, but that goes to every experience that uses Google Street View. It's a fun iteration though with just the UI and then other people joining from the other parts of the world. Or like with a family that has multiple headsets and wants to travel anywhere else. It's not like you can go anywhere, no. It's just selected places in the world that are popular enough to just go there. So it's still limited, kinda sucks because Wonder you really can go anywhere. So it's still like fairly cool to discover, but it's still in those times that we're just cutting the content. This could be easily experienced on Quest 2 as well, because if you're overlaying the 360 and then just this virtual map, there's no mixed reality involved, so you don't necessarily need a pro to fully utilize this application. Pretty cool to check out, considering its features.